you tell an American kid that he's going to a candy store, he can't get excited enough. You tell a Thai kid that he's coming to a, a Buddhist pagoda, it has the same effect. I am at the Wat Uten Pagoda right along the Mekong River facing Laos. This is a very holy place because it's at the confluence of two countries that love Buddha. It's singing and chanting and praying to Buddha all day long. A trip to one of these pagodas is like a trip to Disneyland to an American. The kids jog around the Buddha to say, Hey Buddha, thanks a lot for making me enlightened. The faster they run, the faster they get enlightened. Kids, indeed all ties, adoration for Buddha, borders on hero worship. It's probably a good thing that Buddha's dead. And the Buddhism started as a religion after his death because I have a feeling that some of these girls would sleep with Buddha if they could. Those kids who grew up to be adults still in love with Buddha enroll in a succession of Buddha-loving workshops led by certified Buddha trainers. The Thai public's adulation for Buddha might be best thought of analogously in modern terms as our fascination with sleeping with rock stars and movie stars.